to access markets, uh, our livestock industry needs to achieve two things. One is consumer confidence. So people want to buy Alberta product, want to buy Canadian product because they know it's safe, they know it's raised in a proper environment and has some certifications around that. The, the second thing is that we need to make it, it into international markets by meeting their minimum standards of food safety and being able to prove that those safe standards are being met. In Alberta, uh, Alberta Agriculture and Rural Development's Food Safety Division is working with industry to uh, be able to uh, ensure that we have the systems in place that, that uh, make sure our food is safe, so our consumers are, are uh, comfortable with that, but also the other systems to actually prove our, our food is safe and be able to show that uh, effectively to other countries. In Canada and Alberta, our industry has taken a leadership role at the national level, helping to develop national on-farm food safety programs uh, that are being implemented uh, across the country. Um, Alberta pork, for example, has the pork industry uh, suppliers to the major packers in Alberta, ensuring that they're on an, a certified on-farm food safety program, go through audits and prove that they are uh, following safe practices in, in raising those pigs in, in a safe manner. The uh, other preventative system, of course, runs through the chain. So we need transportation industry, storage industry, um, and our food processors also following, following preventative food safety systems. Um, Alberta Agriculture is involved in the provincial uh, meat, and, uh, meat facilities, licensed meat facilities, uh, that produce domestic meat uh, for Albertans. And we make sure that the legislation is up to date, meets those standards, as well as working with industry to meet international standards so that they can grow their markets and, and further sell their products outside the province of Alberta. One of the issues that we have is Alberta doesn't stand alone when selling its product. We have to make uh, sell Canadian product into international markets. And so Alberta is taking a very active role, both our industry and, and our government uh, officials, to ensure that a national standard uh, meets all of the international requirements and that we have some strategies in place in Canada to prove how safe our food is and, and move that ahead. So while the Alberta Livestock and Meat Strategy is focused in Alberta, we don't stop at the Alberta borders in our influence to try to influence Canada to make sure we're keeping up and making the, the best policy decisions and, and having the best legislation that will serve the industry um, as they trade internationally. The other area that, uh, the other foundation uh, in, in the Alberta Livestock and Meat Strategy that's been mentioned is public health. And this is where we start to see the linkages between animal health, food safety, traceability, certification, and all uh, and other different initiatives within the strategy. Many of the uh, new and emerging diseases in public health are, are related to animals and animal products, either that people can give it to animals and animals can spread it, or that animals um, can, can give uh, the disease to people. In Alberta, we have the Alberta Veterinary Surveillance Network, which uh, incorporates um, all of the information of animal health that Dr. Howard talked about, but as well uh, food safety information and those diseases which could possibly jump between humans and animals. That uh, surveillance system is, forms the base to disease investigation, so we watch for emerging and foreign animal diseases uh, in our herd so that we have a strong herd health status in Alberta, which also then leads to being able to get our products into other markets as well as, as working with the public health officials in, in monitoring and keeping an eye on this. So as a role of Alberta government uh, in this industry initiative of the strategy, we make sure that we've got the infrastructure behind the scenes to prove again that we have healthy animals that are disease free and that our food is safe.